So for this video, I want to talk about Artasia Zone Daik Daikun and how she's kind of a uh, black guy. She really is like underused in the Gundam franchise. Like for all we, like she's the sister of Shar Osnabel, and she's 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 not even like seen that much. Like we only seen her in the original franchise, and like other than that, she has like a few cameos, but like she's not really a big like factor in the, sh the series anymore. It doesn't really make any sense because like. I mean, she, again, she's a sister of Char, so, uh, like, it's just, like, she could have so much potential. Like, hell, maybe in some universe, she is Char, you know? She could be Char Ozzel, a female Char. And uh, instead of Amaro going up against, you know, Kasabal, she could have went up against Artasia. Because they both are descendants of, uh, Daikun. Of, uh, Zeondam Daikun. So it's, like, Ours a new type, she's a new type, she sees it to be a new type. And I think we've seen some of that in the series before, but like, as I was saying, it's just like, a, like, I don't understand like why they didn't like use it like that. It did kind of stop Char from killing Amuro during the Battle of Baoku. So I mean, she did have some purpose near the end, but it's like, like, come on now. Like, she just stops Char from killing Amaro, and Char goes and kills, you know, Celia, so. But, like, as she escapes the fortress alive, there's not really much we see of her, you know. And during the Grips War, you know, she w watches Char on TV. Like, I, I, I don't. She had, like, a little cameo in the Grips War, you know, the uh, Zeta Gun or whatever. So, yeah. And then the manga, Mobile Suit Zeta Gun Defined. Find. She says she works as a doctor in a hospital in North America. I mean, Shari comes to see her with Amuro, but... And then, Sayla had a cameo in the first Neo Zero War, so Double Zeta got them. And it's just, really just cameos, though. One thing I will talk about is in the novel, how there's like a romance between her and Amuro. I, I guess I could work. I, I'm not really sure about it, but it's like... So, when Amuro was killed by Shari's mobile suit forces at the end of the story, you know, Amuro reaches out to Sayla, just his love for her, and then, I mean, it's like, maybe that's where a training port could have been, like, Sayla Mass just gets infuriated by Amuro's death, just goes after Shar, but it's like, I didn't have that interesting point, it's not really a lot of from her, man, like, like, it's just, the notable absence we see post most of Gundam is just, but, from what I'm seeing, a reason for her uh, not being in the show at anymore is because of her forced actress uh, dying. And she was, uh, she died in 2003 and she was unavailable to like voice her, so. Uh, it is sad though, but. And the universe reason, Sayla not being in the show like that, it's just. Uh, wasted potential, wasted potential. Now, uh, to be honest, the only way that she would be cool, I guess, or like a better character is if, one, she's a female Char. Like, yeah, they could have been brother and sister working together. I mean, you never know. And uh, if she's not a female Char, then I guess an enemy to Char? Like, she, she just needs to be more prevalent. Like, this is all this video is about. It's just, Sailor Mask, she's unused potential. Like, there's so much you can do with Sailor Mask. And it's just saddening to see that they didn't really do much with her. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> Salem Mass. Our Artasia Zum Daikun. Unused. Forgotten. Well, that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> なしみの重さに包く夜は瞳を上げるのさ銀河の彼方へ立ち止まるな弱音を吐くな夢を諦めるな数え Oh, she's all I know. Miss.
sedi.